When is it finally starting? Now come on before age takes me away. Here I am. So, before I get... Hello. I'm Bruce Almighty. No, I'm afraid. Our topic today. Yes, our true inner abilities of the soul and amnesia and of course fear. Hello and welcome to the Matrixers with Shiva and Hello, we welcome you again. That's the way and yes, as I said, the theme is, amnesia and fear versus our true inner abilities. You just set such a beautiful example with Bruce Almighty. Maybe you know the movie. Some of you may know the film. Bruce suddenly got divine abilities. Exactly. He was suddenly omnipotent. And he played around with it quite a bit. Yes, he has. And, but afterwards he got scared, didn't he? Or how was that exactly? I don't remember the film that well anymore. Me neither. But that doesn't matter, because we saw a different film in the cinema. Namely X-Men, the new one. Exactly. What's his name actually? Man do not know. Some I don't know it. It's also not important. We don't want to do a review now. For once. So the latest X-Men movie that just came out. We watched it together with one with a bag of popcorn. Was really. And. Yes. So what impressed you so much about this film? Maybe we should briefly summarize the essence of it that inspired us a bit. Gene suddenly became omnipotent, so to speak. There is an original force that gave life to the universe, so to speak, or breathed it into it. And Kraft and Jean found each other. And she took all the power into herself and suddenly she became omnipotent. But she couldn't do anything with this power. It scared her and she wanted to get rid of it. And I found that very inspiring, because that's what I Practically reminds me of what we really are. We've both been able to get a taste of the true power that we really have. I threw a brief, yes. Not memory, but simply, I don't know. It was a moment of realization where I was only allowed to feel a little bit of this true power. And that alone scared me. I was like, okay, I don't want anything to do with that. When it was over, I thought, shit, 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 you should have, and you've had a much, 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 much worse experience with your cocoon. Yes. So, as I said, our theme is fear. The oblivion of the abilities that we originally have. Yes, exactly. Yes, we had a conversation about it the other day after the film. About our true inner powers. And actually, that's also a philosophical question, because we came into the matrix here. Each of us who has a physical body and who has amnesia is of course a basic condition for entering or exiting the matrix. Being able to stay in the matrix. Because the matrix is a form of illusion. And that illusion can only be maintained by forgetting who you really are and what your abilities are. Yes, it's a basic requirement, actually makes sense. Sure, otherwise you couldn't play a game if you wanted to recognize it as a game. Otherwise it doesn't really work here. And that's the basic condition. That you hand in your knowledge at the gate or your brain or your memories, whatever you want to call it. And yes, then of course the question is, then you get into the matrix here and then deal with spiritual topics. And as soon as any experience arises, it starts without a body experience. We wish we could travel through worlds, explore distant galaxies. And then you shit your pants when you feel the vibrations. Yes. 
Then you lie in bed, very resolutely, and say to yourself, well, I want to experience an out-of-body experience and travel to another planet, get to know aliens and then the vibrations come and then you get scared. And why are you afraid? Because, because of the amnesia, one has forgotten that everyone actually had these abilities, such as out-of-body experience or teleportation or telepathy or whatever, before they entered the matrix. The joke of out-of-body experience is that you actually do it every night, which you forget. Yes, we seem to still use these skills. But on a subconscious level. In other words, we actually use them consciously, only we forget them immediately after using them. And that's how I would put it. So just like astral travel, we travel astral every night and as soon as we reconnect with the physical body, with our astral body, boom, memories gone, forgotten everything. You want those skills so badly, don't you? But if you get a glimpse in there, you get the big tremors right away. It's very strange. I agree, bit depressed. Yes, yes, I always get a lot of emails and things like that. I'm afraid of these experiences. I'm afraid of vibrations that occur at night. I'm afraid of voices that I suddenly hear. Or, I'm scared because I see a shadow standing in the corner. All that. Or I'm afraid. When I leave, my body and change into the astral body, that a demon will suddenly appear there and rub his hands or want to eat me alive. Or once I'm out of my body, I may never come back because I can't find it again. So there are tons of fears that are easily related to out-of-body experience. But then you can imagine, if you have the goal of leaving the matrix, back to your true self with its true power. What a great path that is, how many fears there are to conquer and eliminate when one is afraid of such small skills. Yes it is. The power, the power of the true self is very, very gigantic. Yes, or telepathy, so everyone would like to be able to use telepathy. But why? So that you can spy on the thoughts of others. But are you also willing to have your own thoughts spied on? All your tricks, lies or I don't know what people plan every day. You have to be able to accept that the boss, your partner, the police or the government or something else can openly explain it and everyone can look telepathically. What would be going on in our world then? Could the world still work the way it works now? Could people even handle it? Because the gene from the X-Men movie couldn't handle the skills. And I mean, there was still the opponent or the one she wanted to advise. Of course, they also wanted to have the ability and certainly didn't want to use it for a good cause. That is, if all humans had this omnipotence or whatever abilities, what would they use them for? Would you abuse her? Yes, that is the question. Well, in the film, it was the case that some aliens came with their spaceship. And of course they also wanted the ability and tried to take the ability away from Jean. Of course, typically American, to conquer the world. If I have such a great spaceship, yes, there are definitely a few other planets. Haha. <laughs> least Jean. I mean, she has the ability to control more and more. And yet she was afraid of it, wanted to get rid of it again. Yes, but then why was she afraid of it? Because she was simply afraid of hurting her friends or because her best friend had already been killed by her skills. And that's why she got scared of the ability. But that was still in the phase where she couldn't control them. Later she was able to control the ability. And she still wanted to give them away. And I think she still wanted to give it up because she knew if she kept the ability, she wouldn't be able to be on her X-Man team.
I think they would have felt left out. So I strongly suspect that. And that's why. In the end, it wasn't really about controlling her abilities, but more about the fact that she then had to leave the family. Or, yes, that could be good. What also inspires me, what I also found impressive, is the symbolism of the phoenix. Now I remember the name of the movie, Phoenix X-Men. How she rose from the ashes as a phoenix, so to speak. Because that is ultimately our goal. Us with, with back to the wholeness of self. Yes, that's actually very exciting. Yeah, that's the point. In the beginning she couldn't handle the ability and then she broke something here and there or killed someone. But not on purpose, but actually collateral damage. But later she got the ability under control. But of course she was faced with the decision. Either I am now a lonely phoenix in the sky with the skills or I give up the skills and can be part of the others again. The group, the X-Men. And from Xavier and whatever their names are. And symbolically that is actually the same thing that awaits us after death. After death we are also given a choice. Do you go through the black portal to freedom or do you go back into the light because all your friends, relatives, family etc. There are. And there you see the symbol again. I think we're getting a step closer to that. If you think like that, afraid of the inner abilities and at the same time have the desire for these abilities, that it is so contrary to each other. Yes, very. One could also feel partially at the mercy of oblivion alone. If you don't accept that you made the decision yourself to want to be here, even if you've forgotten it. But I think this oblivion is sometimes very exhausting. And she's scary too. Yes, as I said, telepathy is those who want to be able to use telepathy only want to read the minds of others, but they shouldn't read their own minds. That's where it starts. Then comes the blockage of not wanting to learn telepathy. Teleportation. Moving from one place to another with the power of your mind. Yes. Those are just skills. Yes, yes. Once you feel the greatness of your true self, you know what to expect. What huge fears one has here as a small everyday self. Then the CIA will be right outside the door if you can teleport and take you with them. Or what other skills are there? Telekinesis too. The CIA will come by and see if you really can do telekinesis. And if so, she'll take you with her. You notice again all the blockades and fears that are behind it and the problems that it might bring with it, to possess such abilities. Because if you were to give anyone these abilities now, of course they would probably brag about them, just like Jesus did. He has, yes, also constantly stated with his abilities. Yes, I know we have different opinions on that. Could walk on water. Bring people back from death. All the things. And that is already a display of his abilities. I think that was just framed against him. I don't believe the stories. But that's not so important now, it's a different topic. I don't know if that's true now. It's okay, if that's true, it was a show-off. Yes, no, I think everyone has to look at themselves. If someone wishes for an ability, what fear could be behind it? With telepathy, I find that very easy to see. That's why there are now cell phones where you can send messages via WhatsApp. 
that's almost a bit of telepathy. But you also have control over the sentences and words that you send. There are also mobile phones, ha, it's like it's been around for three days now. You can decide for yourself very well. This is very new, something new, there are cell phones. That was so funny the way you said that, it's a whole new technology, this new, clean. Not so, yes, no, that's great, I find this so funny that I. What I actually find so fascinating is that you want to go back to your true self, want to get rid of oblivion, and when you have it, you're so scared of it. And you don't actually want the thing with the will. The I find it so exciting that you really don't want to. Even if you wanted. If you were that, you had the skills, if you really wanted to, you would be in your true self, you would have the skills. But you don't want to. And that's almost depressing. Yes, that's exactly what came to my mind, that you really don't want to. But it's not depressing. No, not really depressing, but yes, well, it's like this. On the one hand you don't want to on the other hand. You can't hold anyone responsible for the fact that you don't just bring the skills up to the top, because you're afraid of them. And who's afraid of it? Everyone the yes, yes. And that's why I don't think you want to think about it that much or don't think about it that much. You just want the skill point. That's how, but if you really wanted them, they would have them, like that. So you have to face the fears to get that ability. And that's just the fly in the ointment in the search for his true inner abilities. Namely dealing primarily with fear. That means, with out-of-body experiences, for example, the fear of being without a body. The fear of meeting demons or other unpleasant companions. Or the fear that something could go wrong. Or you won't come back and things like that. And you can already see the fears of how they come about. Or how they can express themselves. With telepathy, it's actually pretty easy to spot the fear. There are some abilities where it is not so easy to recognize. Yes, or shapeshifting like in X-Men. Hmm. What was the name of the one who also took part in the Hunger Games, Jennifer? That's the shapeshifter. So she can take any shape she wants. And. Yes, what if you could take any shape? It's also an exciting skill. What can you do with it then? Most would probably abuse that. I would guess. Yes, if the neighbor then likes your partner, then he turns into your partner. It was like that it you can think about every ability. I guess every viewer has their personal favorites in terms of skills. And then you can take a look at yourself. What are the reasons why you might not want this ability at all? And I think you have to be aware of that. And whether you are willing to continue to work for it anyway, to want to acquire the ability. I mean, it already starts on the worldly level with the skills. Some have abilities for art, music, but they don't dare, already have fears on the worldly level. But then they want to teleport or have no idea what they can do. And then you have to deal with the small, you have to deal with such small fears, even on the lowest level, on the 3D level. So we have the same thing here with the black portal after death. If you want to go through the portal, you first have to deal with fear, with the horror of horrors. 
This fear is so enormous that one's hair stands on end. The fear that one encounters. And there we have the same thing. This means that fear is a main pivot, which ranges from personal, psychological, inner, true abilities to the black portal through which one can ultimately go to freedom. In any case, it goes through the fear, no matter what. You have to go through the fear. Yes, to get to the end you have to go through fear. You will always encounter that. Correct. As you say, it is also the link from there to there. The link to the true self. Correct. And so folks, if you're scared, go through, go through, is hard. Is hard. Gruesome. Frightening. But it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. You will be rewarded. And that's for sure. Anyone who has experienced this knows that it is really worth it. Come in. What I also find funny is that you don't even notice the fear in everyday life. That's the funny thing. We also said that, I really want to be able to teleport. But if teleportation is somehow introduced to you, you get scared immediately. But here now, if we talk like this, where's the fear? If we were to meet it now, teleportation, then fear would come first. It's still very funny. You won't even feel it now, the fear. No. So being brave is very simple. But true courage is only found in moments of fear. Now it's just talk about it. Yes, yes, do it when the time comes. That's the way it is. Yes, it's strange that you don't even feel the fear when you actually have it inside. So what skills do you want? We would be very happy about comments and maybe also, if you want, you can also write what fear is preventing you from doing so. Or even if he is not afraid of it or has no idea. Any thoughts on our conversation that we had so spontaneously today? And we really appreciate your comments. Yes. Then we thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. So did you like the video? Then you can subscribe to us here. Or you visit us on our website. And if you want more exciting videos, then click here or here.